and you know the drill? I, I do. Good morning, Randall Barrett, uh, North Pacific Highway, Central Point, Oregon. Um, you know, I, there's so many things going on, and I was trying to figure out what to really bring out today because the most important one is the one I'm going to talk about, but we've got the Naperville, I was saying it wrong before, Naperville, Illinois ruling, the Supreme Court, not Supreme Court, the Seventh District Court ruling. There's precedents as far as U.S. Supreme Court rulings that bear on this to show you that we do have a no-brainer win at the U.S. Supreme Court if we can get it there, but I don't really have time to go over those things today, and I really, they're important. But the one that I wanted to focus on the most is the oh, opt-out. Opt fees and the reason is that when you look at the constitutional issue and you say okay let's just take one of them the easiest one in my opinion the fire issue that we know they catch on fire Pacific Power actually admitted to you upstairs that oh yeah we had some fire issues with them so we know it does happen British Columbia in the early part of this year the first six months had 60 smart meter fires so they're still ongoing the problem with these things that they do overload because the batteries can explode whatever the reasons they can catch on fire. If there isn't any other good reason to say we have a constitutional right to not have these things on our home, that we have that, that, that right, we, most of us can get that. But the thing is that it's such a difficult battle. You're like, well, how do we get it there? And, and what's, what's our justification? Well, that's where the opt-out fees come in. And I think this impacts you all personally, because it does me. When you look at the fact that they use these opt-out fees as a bullying, illegal, extortionary thing to force these meters upon people because they can't afford the fees, or they they were lacking proper information. They didn't know they had a fire risk. They didn't even know there was even re any reason that they should opt out. All they knew is they had to pay these fees. So if you can uh, clearly identify legally, according to the law, that these fees are illegal, that they're actually extortionary mafia-type tactics, if you can prove that, that's huge because that's the, what was used, the tool that was used to force these on these people against their constitutional rights. And even though most people aren't aware of it, we talk to people every day. They're totally unaware of the issue. They just don't know anything about it. So it's up to us that know something about it to bring that out to the public. We're gonna still do workshops. We're gonna find other ways to get this information out. It's working great in Coos Bay. They're right now we're talking to their commissioners over there, a huge group, a bunch testifying, and they're getting a great response. So hopefully they are talking about doing an ordinance and taking other legal action. Uh, I don't know if you've had any discussions with them. Um, some of the counties that people are talking with have said that their commissioners know some of you and know um, Wally Hicks over in uh, Josephine County, and so they were going to call and ask questions, and so that's what we want. We want this discussion to be going on because you know a lot of things that the other commissioners in other counties don't know anything about yet. They haven't been informed at all. They haven't been educated. So if you're like, well, how do we get behind this? Because I believe in you guys, by the way. I think you know me well enough by now to know I wouldn't be wasting my time on you guys because it's not a waste of time but I, with other entities which I've been pretty harsh about that I believe are corporate shills I am very very harsh and I don't like wasting my time on them but I believe in you guys I really believe that you all have a sincere interest and love for our community and for people and you really want to do the right thing so that's why this is so important about the opt-out fees so I want to break this down because when you really get it and you're like oh my god you don't have to be uh, an attorney to understand you know most of these things that have been won over the years weren't attorneys. They were normal people like you and I that say, no, this is right or wrong, and we're going to stand up and we're going to get this to the Supreme Court and make it work. So looking at the opt-out fees, and you say, okay, they're going to start separating. We brought that out before. They're going to start separating that if you have an analog meter, we have to come read your meter. So now they're going to determine that your service has unique fees that and costs. The OPUC, the commissioners, I mentioned it, are bound by the law, by the ORS statutes that they must protect us, the, the citizens, the customers, the consumers, that our rates have to be fair and they have to be cost-based. So now you look at the cost base. They say, well, if you have an analog meter, you've got to pay for your meter reading. Well, what they're not doing is they're not looking at what the costs of the smart meters are and what it costs to read their meter. And you say, well, what does it cost to read their meter? It costs nothing. Well, that's not true. They had to put a brand new meter on there. I think I'd said $300 before. That was something I'd read. It's recently been brought out. It might be $137 to $150 for those meters. I don't know the exact cost. I haven't got that yet. But the point is you have to put a new meter on their home. You have installation costs. 
You have the infrastructure, the antennas they have to put up. They've got to hire people and run trucks all over town. And all these people that have to maintain the computers and the software and all the infrastructure that has to go on and the ongoing maintenance. You know on your own computers at home and anything that's computerized, they become obsolete. And you have to replace these things. They, they burn up. They fail. They're just cheap plastic computers. So we know that the maintenance on, these, on this system, the computerized smart grid, is much more expensive. That's why New Mexico rejected it. That's why other states are fighting it, rejecting it. The costs to read your meter, to read your power for the smart grid is way more expensive than the old system. So that's where you can see the legal, how the OPUC, how the commissioners broke the law. Because they said, well, we're going to charge you for your meter reading, but these people, all the costs, their new meters, all that infrastructure, we're not going to charge them a dime. We're going to hide that from you. And so when you can clearly see in your mind, like I do, how illegal these these are that it was you can whether or not the OPUC was involved or not let's say it was just Pacific Power it still would be illegal but the OPUC broke the law so when you feel that like I do and you realize that our people in this in this community were robbed of their right to protect their home constitutionally by these illegal fees that's the motivation to find a way to do this to do whatever it takes to join in with the other counties and to get this fixed so I'm just imploring you Cindy one of the things she says all the time she's very very passionate about this. She says, people need to stand up. She says it all the time. So I'm asking for you to stand up with us and with other counties and just wanted to share that about the opt-out fees. Please, I will keep going over that with you too. So thank you. Thank you.